friends, it's Camille, and today we are unstraightening my hair. I don't know if you guys saw my last video where I was curling it, but I had my hair strained for a shoot, and I decided since it was already straightened, I might as well curl it and get the like large barrel curls and wear it that way for a bit. So it has been straightened and then curled a little bit but it's been like this for a while and it's absolutely disgusting right now like it's just so dry like i just want to hydrate it and add some protein and then like let it be out and natural and hydrated again so that is what we are going to do today and i'm going to show you my routine on how i unstraighten my hair and rehydrate and add protein back into it and get it nice and curly and healthy again so let's start by taking this out Okay, so this just looks like a Barbie doll that's been neglected. All right, so the first product we're going to use is the L'Oreal Paris Hair Expertise Everpure Sulfate-Free Color Care System Repair Remedy Mask Mask Treatment Repair. Oh my gosh, this is such a long title, but it's pretty much a repair remedy mask. I'm gonna cut the name down, L'Oreal. You're welcome. So how they describe this product is Everpure Remedy Hair Mask is our first deep restorative treatment for very damaged, weakened hair. The rich formula fortified with our exclusive antioxidant complex, I love antioxidants, instantly penetrates to repair, strengthen, and polish hair strand by strand. Pure color care for renewed, stronger, and shinier hair. So I pretty much use this to repair my hair and add antioxidants and like strengthen it again. But hold your horses, there is more. This is the moisturizing hair mask I've been using lately, and it's the Marc Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Envy Defrizz and Moisturize Deep Hydrating Mask. So they describe it as blended with vitamin E, avocado, and shea butter, my faves. This ultra-rich moisture mask treats extra dry, damaged, frizzy curls with moisture to create softer, smoother curls with shine. So extra dry, damaged because of the bleach. So we're just gonna get rid of everything at once. So I'm mixing the two masks together because this one is pretty much for moisture, which I need, and this one is for repairing damage. And these are the two things that I really focus on when I'm going straight to curly, or like literally when I'm just doing my hair normally, but I always use a mask when I'm going back curly because I feel like my hair needs a little bit extra love after being straightened. So the L'Oreal one is a bit thicker. So I'm gonna start with that. And then the Marc Anthony one is like, it's very liquidy. It's like always falling to one side. Then I'm gonna add a glob of the Marc Anthony one and we're gonna marry the two. So I'm gonna keep the lids open since I'm gonna be needing to do this again. And I'm just going to paint it on my head. Trying to make it even, so I'm just using like a little bit at a time to sort of distribute it. But I'm just trying my best here. Oh, so cold. So I just wanna get everything as saturated as possible because I wanna make sure that all of my hair is treated instead of being uneven. So that's why I'm gonna be using a lot of product today because you can see that this part is nice and damp and saturated but it was definitely not enough for the rest of my head. I'm gonna try and do this on camera. We're gonna grab two scoopfuls and marry them. So you also definitely wanna focus on your ends because that tends to be the driest area. And I did get a little bit of a trim lately, so I'm not super worried about that, but I wanna make sure that they stay hydrated so that lasts. Okay, harvesting some more goo. And yeah, this is a lot of face, face mask. So this is a lot of hair mask that I'm using. Like, I'm even kind of shocked at this because I usually just use it and don't pay attention because I'm not filming a video. And my hair isn't even like that long anymore. I'm focusing right now underneath, like at the back of my neck because that's where I have like the finest hair and not like fine, like fine, like really thin, I guess tangled. So I really wanna make sure that that has a lot of moisture 
and repair mask because it needs some special attention and love back there. Don't neglect your fine hairs. Okay, so my head feels like really saturated and cold right now. So I'm just gonna kind of massage it out throughout the rest of my hair and just make sure that everything is like very evenly spread and coated. While I'm doing this, I just wanna show you guys my new muscles. <laughs> just got these babies. So let's see. Bam! Let's watch that again in slow-mo. Bam! No big deal or anything. So now it's definitely good. So I'm gonna put this up in a bun on the top of my head. So now I'm just gonna let this sit forever. I am guilty of putting a hair mask in and leaving it and then like just going to the gym and like doing my day and then eventually it's been in for like seven hours, but I don't think that's really necessary or like that useful. At some point, the benefits have to plateau. So I'm just gonna leave this in for one hour like a normal person and then we will be rinsing it out. The mask has been in for about two years, so it's about time to rinse it out. So I'm gently massaging and rinsing it. Because I kept my hair straight forever, it really needs a deep clean. So I'm using the Diva Curl Build Up Buster, which is made out of micellar water. So it gets rid of buildup on your scalp and on your hair. And my hair has so many products and hairspray gunking it up right now. So I wanted to make sure that I got it all out. I especially focused on the roots and gave myself a nice scalp massage at the same time. Make sure you rinse it all out or you might have to get super micellar water to get out this micellar water. <laughs> that was almost funny. I always do a protein treatment after straightened hair because it really helps get my curl shape back, which is also why I use it weekly normally on my curly hair. And it really helps make your hair feel strong and healthier. So I put that all over and let it sit in for about 10 minutes. Sometimes I do longer, but I already did the other hair mask for so long. So I just did what the instructions said as my minimum. So then I rinsed it all out, did my regular hair styling routine and let it dry. All right, so my hair has just finished drying and it is big and curly and soft again. And it just feels really nice to have like a fresh head of clean, hydrated hair and just like have my volume back. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me going straight to curly and the process I do in between to keep my hair as healthy as possible. If you guys have any tips on how you go straight to curly or whatever, life advice, I'll accept it all. Leave that in the comment section down below. And while you're going down, check out the links in the description where you can find all of my other social media. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. So thank you, Chameleon, so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.